Dayton's move so far? Uh, you know, add to a uh, a team that was already uh, you know very close to making the playoffs. I mean, so it can't help but be excited, and you know, just solidifying uh, you know needs on the team. We've upgraded pitching. We, we've upgraded um, and and you know, offense has so much potential. You know, they, they we hit, there's nowhere near we have nowhere near reached the potential there. You know, last year was you know offensively was not our best year, and and it's going to continue to get better because we're young. There's so many rumors about you. Have you listened to them? And, and what do you think about all? I've been around long enough to know now that uh, um, I you know every year I've been rumored. You know, ever since I've been you know in the big leagues, that's you know it's come up on quite a while now, and. Uh, um, you know, I'm still a Kansas City Royal, so you kind of take it with a grain of salt. And um, I never got a call from Dayton, so I know nothing was serious. So I would hate to get to the point where we start winning and then I'm then I leave because I put in so much um, hard work. And you know, to be honest, I had some had way more tough years than I've had, had had way more growing pains than I've actually had success. And you know, having fun out in the field and everything like that. Now my personal success was it's always been there, but the team successes. You know, this past year was great. I mean, I hate to get to that point where, you know, we're on the verge of making the playoffs, winning the American League Central, and then, you know, I'm not here anymore because I've put in 10 years of building to this point. So I'd like to enjoy it, stay here. Stats are a uh, are a funny thing. If you look at certain statistics, because, you know, you know, I look at them. You, you look at my batting average running score just actually higher than it was the, the year before. Um, you know, my walks are higher. My base percentage was higher. Um, you know, there's a lot of positives out there. No offense to Alex, he's doing a great job up there. He's a middle of the order bat. He's not a he's not a leadoff guy. He's just was the best thing we had at the leadoff spot. And this is our first true, you know, leadoff hitter that's going to be in there every day leading off for you know a long time. I think like maybe Beck Scott and said, Nick, we're not a team that's lacking talent anywhere now. I mean, we have as much talent, if not more talent, than any team coming in now that we, that we feel. That we're, that we're playing against. So, you know, there's expectations. There's, there's expectations there. I mean, there was expectations last year that we had to improve, and what we did, we improved. And that, that expectation is even higher this year because we added what we already had. When uh, October 1st came around, you know, everybody was going home. I mean, everybody in that clubhouse was, was ready to keep playing. Not instead of in other years, we were ready to just, you know, man, dude, this was a tough year. I mean, I felt like I said that for like 10, 9, 9 straight years. Um, so yeah, at the October first, you're ready to go home. I mean, you're ready to go home. You feel like you've been beaten and battered because, you know, <laughs> we lose 90 games, close to 100 games. This year, we felt like we got the better of it, and we were ready to keep going because we felt like, you know, every day we stepped on the field, we we're gonna win.